This could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh, and now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart the start of something. to season two of the ace episodes a new era for the ace episodes otherwise known from now on as of the flux files because i am ace flux and arrow flux i fluctuate on the aromantic and asexual spectrums and today we're gonna talk about that a little bit more a little bit. here come some words familiar to regular viewers of the ace episodes I had a little Google. I had a little Google. Google's a wonderful thing. It actually turns out that Ace Flux is not really a term that floats around very much. So um, I thought I'd shed some more light on it. So what does Ace Flux mean? Ace Flux is when a person's sexuality fluctuates between asexual and allosexual or between two or more orientations on the asexual spectrum, otherwise known as an aspec micro-label. Sometimes you could be sex repulsed and not experience any sexual attraction or desire at all. Sometimes you could be the complete opposite. Sometimes the shift between being DTF and sex repulsed can happen very quickly and other times it can happen within months or years and you don't fluctuate very often. As with every asexual, let alone every ace flux person, it's a different experience. Your feelings, your attraction, your mood is all exclusive to you. No one is exactly the same. Ace flux can be used one of two ways. Some people can use it to identify with fluctuating strictly on the ace spectrum. Some people can use it if they fluctuate between asexual and allosexual. So feeling no sexual attraction one time and then another time fluctuating and feeling sexual attraction. Or they could fluctuate from asexual to demisexual to allosexual. Again, it completely depends on the person and both of the two ace flux types are valid. Basically, one person who identifies as ace flux can be asexual 100% of the time, just different places on the spectrum. Other ace fluxes can identify as asexual sometimes and allosexual other times. So I had a little uh, dig around on some forums and some Tumblr posts just to see how other people experience being ace flux or arrow flux and I thought I'd like quote some of their experiences to you so you can get a better idea of how ace flux people identify and how they describe their label. The first one I found was I could have a spree of attraction without libido, a 10 minute attraction with libido, or experiencing an in love feeling for as much as a week and hating it because it makes you smile on the outside and want to die on the inside. And then someone posted a question underneath this, which was a pretty long-winded question, but I thought it was kind of important to answer, you know? So I thought I'd uh, throw it on here. I personally believe there are three main types of asexuality. Demisexuality, grey A, and just asexual. I don't understand why you need to have so many terms. You could use a simple term like asexual and explain what you like and don't like. Sure, these things are helpful in the ace community and for those who are interested, but I'm just saying that in the mainstream media it's better to keep it simple. I just hit the camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of get that. Like, I, in a way, agree with what they're saying in that if someone asked me what I identified as and I had a feeling they wouldn't understand what ace flux means, I would probably just say asexual. I'm not interested in dating you, so you don't really need to know. Hi. I'm asexual, but for friends and family and potential partners, I would go into detail and use my actual label, which is Ace Flux, because I want these people to understand. I 
found another post of a uh, personal story and this one's on being Arrowflux. I understand that regular people don't feel attraction 24 seven, but for me and a lot of flux people, it's different. When I fluctuate, it feels like the type of attraction changes. Sometimes I'm completely aromantic. Sometimes I long for romance, but my changes remain somewhere on the arrow spectrum. Some days I feel cupio romantic, which means no romantic attraction, but a longing for a romantic relationship. Some days I feel lith romantic, romantic attraction, but no desire for a relationship, and so on. The intensity of these types of attraction also fluctuates. I've experimented with lots of labels over the years, ranging from demisexual to asexual to grey sexual and back again, but I never found a label that fit. I went from, oh, I have a crush on that person, to, oh, maybe I just want to be friends, and back and forth. Sometimes I'd be super giddy with butterflies and other times I would feel not that. Then I found ace flux. Now that sounds right. My sexuality is not set in stone, it's fluid. I also found a Tumblr question from one Ace Flux to another Ace Flux. The question was, I'm Ace Flux and I wish there was a term for when I'm not feeling attraction and when I am so I can easily communicate this to my partner. Not really a question, but you, you know, they're, they're like asking for advice, right? And the answer was, Saying that you're having an ace day is a fine way to explain how you feel, but you don't have to use it if it doesn't work for you. The best thing to do is communicate and maybe find code words that work for you. Another question. What's the difference between arrow ace flux and abrosexual or abro romantic? Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Abro? Abro? How do you pronounce it? Let me know how it's pronounced because like, <laughs> I've got enough wrong over the years. They're both fluid identities, but arrow flux and ace flux are intended to mean that you remain on the arrow ace spectrum when you flux, e.g. grey to demi to lithro. Abro, abro, <laughs> is a broader term. It means you can be fluid through any orientations, so bi to arrow to lesbian. Abro people can consider themselves aspec, mspec, or neither. I don't know what mspec actually means. I wrote it down, but I don't know what it means. I just gotta like do a quick Google in it. Hang on a minute. What is M spec? M spec. LGBT. What does it mean? Multi attraction spectrum. A broad categorical term used to describe individuals who are attracted to more than one gender. This term can encompass bi, pan, poly, and many other identities. Thanks, Google. This Tumblr post I found like to be quite poetic. It was like laid out like a poem, so I read it like a poem. So it was quite pleasant. Um, I do wish to find it and reblog it on my own Tumblr that I made like yesterday, um, that I probably won't commit to, but I thought I'd make anyway. So um, I'll leave that in the description if you wanna follow me on Tumblr. Fluidity is interesting to experience. I understand all the perspectives ever, I know what it's like to only feel one of the sides. I know what it's like to feel both. I know what it's like to feel neither. I know everything. And I know how awkward it is not to relate to the exact same meme depending on the week you see it in. And we're gonna finish of the Tumblr gems with um, a bit of reassurance and positivity. It's fine if you feel something that's outside the definition of your orientation. If you thought you were 100% arrow ace and you end up being sexually or romantically attracted, cool. It also doesn't invalidate you if you still want to identify as arrow ace. You don't have to change it if it feels right to you and that's really all that matters. On the flip side, it's okay to change your label. Finding what works for you takes time and that's okay. You gone to your destination? Yeah? You done? God knows I've gone from straight to gay to bi to A. This troll's been commenting on my videos recently. Hi, you're blocked now. Um, that I jump from label to label and like that has been true in my life. I did sass them right back, like no one's jumping pal. I am like ace flux right now, okay? Is that fine? 
I don't care if it's fine because it's true. But throughout my life, I have like orientation hopped. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, I will make more videos about what being Ace Flux and Aeroflux means for me and where I sit on the spectrum right now. If you've got any questions for it, then leave them below. Ask them on my Tumblr that I probably won't commit to. Ask them on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Let me know what you wanna know. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.